Welcome to Phineas again. Today's topic of our discussion is how to calculate beta in Excel or beta estimation using Excel. What is beta? Beta is a measure of a stock's volatility in relation to the market. And in today's video, I'll teach you three different methods. The first method is called a slope method. Second method is the regression method and the third one is the formula method. But before we move forward, kindly subscribe to my channel Phineas and press the bell icon for the notification of new videos. Let's start today's discussion. If you'll see over here, few websites links are suggested to download the data. As I'll be working on Pakistani stock market, I'll be using the Pakistani stock market link to download the data. But if, for example, you're working in an international market, so you can use Yahoo Finance to download the data. So let me download the data so that we can move forward. Now what I'll do, I'll download the data of a company from this list. For example, I need to have a data of Attack Summit Limited. Then I'll select the start date. For example, my start date is 1st April and my end date for the data is 21st April. Now what I'll do, I'll click on the view prices. So if you'll see over there, this is the data for Tax Summit Limited from 21st April or from 1st April to 21st April. And this way I can download the data. What I'll do, I'll select the whole data and then I'll, I'll, I'll copy paste this data in the Excel file. In the same way, I'll download the historical indices. For example, I need to download the data of KC100 index and I'll select that same date range. For example, 1st April till 21st April. Then again, I'll click if you'll see from 1st April till the 21st April data is available for KC100 index. Again, I'll copy this data and then I'll, I'll paste this in Excel 5. I've, I've already copied the data of these two indices the kc100 index data is over here and the acpl data is over here now if you'll see we need only the date column and the closing prices so what i'll do i'll delete the additional information do remember in pakistan we have the only closing prices we don't have adjusted closing what is the difference between closing and adjusting closing closing is simply the stock price at the end of the trading day whereas the adjustment close is the closing price of the indices after adjustment of dividends, split stocks or any new stock. So it's better to use adjusted closing rather than closing. But because in Pakistan we don't have adjusted closing, so I'll be using this closing prices. So this is the data of my individual stock. So I'll rename this sheet as ACPL. Then in the second sheet, again, I'll delete the unnecessary columns or extra columns. So this is what this is the data of KC 100 index. Now what we need, we need to calculate the beta. What I'll do, I'll copy this KC closing prices, KC 100 index closing prices in the ACP, ACPL file. Let me copy this over here. Now let me calculate the betas. But before calculation of betas, we need to have what we need to have the returns of individual stocks and the market returns. So let me say this is ACPL and this two columns belongs to KC 100 index or the market. Over here, I'll be calculating the returns for KC and over here, the returns of KC 100 index. Let me copy the formatting. Now, we'll calculate the return. The formula for return is amount received minus amount invested divided by amount invested. If you want to know how to calculate return in different methods, so for this, you need to check my other video that is risk and return analysis of a single asset in which I have taught different methods to calculate the return. But over here, I'll be using current price divided by the preceding day price bracket close minus one. This will give me the return of an individual stock. And then I'll copy paste this over here. This will give me the returns of the market. Now let's move to the calculation of beta. In this file, I'll be teaching you three methods of beta estimation. The first method is the slope method, the second is regression method, and the third method is the formula method. I'll be calculating three betas. So let's start with the slope method. For slope method, I'll be using the slope function equals to slope, S-L-O-P-E slope. I'll open the bracket. Over here, you will see this is known Y's. Known Y's means the returns of individual stocks. And known X represents the return of the market. What I'll do, I'll select the known Y. So I'll select the whole data range of returns of ACPL. Then, comma, 
then I'll select the returns of the market and then I'll close the bracket. So my beta is 1.07. Then let's calculate the beta with the regression method. For regression method, what you need to do, you need to go to this data tab and in the data tab, you need to have this data analysis. This data analysis function is not available normally. What you need to do, you need to activate this function. I have already activated this add-in. If I click on this data function, so what I need to search, I need to search regression. I'll click on this regression, then I'll press OK. Then I need to select the data. So for selection of data, what I'll do, I'll select this regression information of the individual stocks over here. This is known wise. And for known X range, I'll again select the returns of the market. It's very similar to the slow function. And then I'll press OK. If I'll press OK, I'll have an output in the different window. Over here, I need this information, this 1.07. This information represents the slope. What I'll do, I'll copy this and I'll place over here. You see, the beta with the slope and the beta with regression is same. So now what I need to do, I need to calculate the beta with the help of a formula. The formula for beta is, yeah, I'll be using two formulas for the beta estimation. The first formula is covariance of top I and the market over the variance of market. So let me calculate the covariance of individual stock and the covariance of market over the variance of market. I'll press equals to, then I'll use the covariance function. The function of covariance is COV, A-R-I-N-C, covariance dot S. Then what we need? The first array. The first array represents the covariance of the individual stock. So these are the individual stock returns. I'll take the covariance of individual stocks and the covariance of the market the second error represents the covariance of the market or the returns of the market i'll close the bracket then what i need i need to divide this by the variance of the market so then i'll write variance var dot s then i'll select the returns of the market and then i'll close this bracket so this will give me the beta this beta is equals to the betas of the other two methods so this is the beta by covariance of individual stocks or by and market over the variance of the market or we can call, call it the beta by formula or we have estimated this beta by using a formula now the second method or the second formula to estimate beta with the help of formula is what you need for the second formula or the second formula says that the sigma of individual stock means the standard deviation of individual stocks over the standard deviation of the market into the correlation between individual stocks and market so for this, what I need to do, I'll first calculate the sigma or the risk of an individual stock. For this, I'll be using STD, means the standard deviation function, dot S. And what I'll do, I'll calculate, I'll calculate the standard deviation of an individual stock. Divided by the standard deviation of the market. So again, the STDV function, dot S bracket open, I'll select the returns of the market. So the formula is standard deviation of individual stocks divided by standard deviation of the market multiply by correlation. So I'll say correlation between array 1, array 1 represents the individual stock. I'll again select the returns of individual stocks, comma, the returns of the market and then I'll close the bracket. Over here, I need to close this bracket as well and then press enter. So this will give me 1.0273, which is the same as the other betas. In this way, we can easily calculate the betas. This beta is estimated by the slope. This beta is with the help of regression and these two betas are with the help of formula. So now it's up to you which method you want to use in your practical life or in your academic life. I hope you have understood today's discussion. If you have any query, you can write in the comment section. I'll try my level best to answer your queries. Till the next video, take care. Bye.